Hello Young Justice fans, Dark Superboy here again with another video on our beloved superhero series, Young Justice. Today we'll be covering the current status of the light and what they might be doing in Season 3. Okay, let's quickly begin with the rundown. We've got Vandal Savage, Ra's al Ghul, Lex Luthor, Queen Bee, The Brain, Chloe the Witch Boy and Black Manta. Other supporters do include Bane and Count Vertigo, who I will be bringing up in a second as well, because of a few key points I'd like to show everyone. Okay, first things first, Vandal Savage, last seen in the season finale on Apocalypse, after disembarking from the war world, shaking hands with Darkseid himself, with the ominous words of business as usual. Ra's al Ghul, last seen in the episode of The Summit, impaled through the back and through the heart, by Black Beetle, but as Ubu proclaimed, images of him have been seen in season three, so we will probably be seeing a return for him. Uh, Lex Luthor, leader of the UN summit, a major key position in, in global politics, something very useful for the light and also seen in the Season 3 trailer. Queen Bee, last seen in Balia, uh, after the successful mission of demoting the green and blue beetles. Also, again, seen in images of Season 3 trailer. The Brain, last seen in the summit, being ironically, for Brain in the Jar, disarmed, highly likely being detained in Bel Rev or another Supermax prison for criminals. No images seen in the season 3 trailer and uh, I'll be bringing up why I think that is in a moment. Penultimately we have Clara and the Witch Boy, last seen uh, alongside Vandal Savage. Current location unknown and no images have been seen in the season 3 trailer. Black Manta, last seen in the summit, being detained by the team, uh, most likely in another Supermax prison. However, as I've explained in a previous post, which is in my playlist, Black Manta Returns, his tech uh, is spotted in the trailer, so it's highly likely that he is in the season as well. And then we have a few subordinates of the form Count Vertigo and Bane, also seen in the Season 3 trailer. But, so that's all the positions of where they are at the moment, or my estimate of where they are. But I'd just like to cover what I think their main objective of Season 3 is going to be. And that is location, location, location. Because if you've noticed, all the key members of the Light, all the leaders, have a, a literal position in the world of, of Earth-16. Um, Vandal Savage has an orbiting space station, um, so he's got his own little territory there. Ra's al Ghul, I think, has uh, a good foothold in most of East Asia, as we've seen in Season 1 with the uh, North and South of Malaysia, there was a foothold of the light putting roots in when they Lex Luthor negotiated it, so since Ra's al Ghul was there, I'm thinking he took over for controlling the little East Asia section of the planet. Lex Luthor obviously has America with his uh, Lex Corp facilities, and now as a major point, appointee of the UN, is able to influence national and world political policies on other countries, which will lead me into Queen B having her own country of uh, Bialya, completely autonomous to the rest of the United Nation, being a rogue state. But if you've got the leader of the UN Senate on your side, it is probably it's going to be a lot easier for her to do things her own way or make it appear that she's becoming more civilised and more democratic and passing that off to Lex, and Lex selling it to the UN as progress he is making uh, towards a better world with a better country of Bialya, which increases his status 
in the UN and also increases Queen Bee's status of being left alone by obviously the rogue operations of the Justice League when they send their teams in. So any further infiltration will probably be scorned upon by the UN with uh, Lex Luthor at the lead, in the lead. Uh, the brain, I'm going to say, is just going to be left in prison because if every member of the light is broken out or is loose, the team is still going to think that they're doing something because they thought they defeated the light in the episode of the summer and if every member of the light is still up and running, then they're going to go back and scrutinise all of the members of the light and obviously active members are not going to want that. So I think that the main head honchos of the light are going to leave the brain in jail to dissuade anyone from thinking they're still active. Uh, Clarion is obviously still going to hang around with Vandal, having no position of his own, but being on the mystical plane, he's got his own little stake. And then we have Black Manta having territorial control or influence of the entire oceans of the planet. Well, at least easy access to. So if we look at this map, all these positions as a whole, we've got North America currently control, uh, have influence by Lex. We have main East Asia and Asia itself being looked over by Ra's al Ghul. Uh, Vandal's got space with complete domination of the skies with uh, the War World. Queen Bee's got the Middle East, major influence there, and obviously with her previous actions in Quart, she has been known to reach out of it, so she's probably got a, so she's got a lot of influence there. And obviously Black Manta's got the oceans. So you can see this how this world sphere influence is actually physically there and you can see it. And but if you're asking about why well you've still got South America uh, missing out, well Sivorna of Bain has got that covered. And one of the few remaining continents not affected is Africa, who I hate, hate to say this, is not exactly a resource-rich uh, uh, continent to invest in, but it's most some of the countries are easily unstable there, so I don't think the light would consider that much of a threat to their organisation compared to the major political powers of the rest of the world. So, uh, but who knows? They could still probably put someone there if they want to. And that just leaves us with Europe, which we've already seen influence beginning to grow in just the trailer of season three with uh, the Markovia incident. But we also know someone who is a, ma is a major political power in Eastern Europe and who already has ties to light, and that is Count Vertigo, who we see in a season three trailer. So that could be the beginnings of an inroad into Europe by getting Count Vertico's country uh, under his control and they've obviously started influencing Markovia by taking Terra Markov and removing um, <clears throat> removing Brion Markov who has gone to search for her sister so that only leaves the crown prince and the royal couple who if the, they can convince the crown prince to uh, join them or easily just remove them, their parents, bye. And then they've got Markovia and that gives them Europe. So I think that's their plan. Uh, they're just going to bide their time, get all their chess pieces in position and then after that try and take over the world, uh, be it with overwhelming force of Meta the Gene army they're probably going to be trying to build. Uh, reinforced by the war world and reinforced by any apocalypse in tech or forces they can manage to swindle out of their dark side before they try and stab him in the back just like they did with the Colotaeans and the Reach. Not a very smart plan but these guys are pretty committed to the cause so maybe they'll succeed. Who knows. But that's my uh, general decision thoughts and theories on where the light is right now. Uh, if you have any comments you'd like to add, by all means, add them in the comment section below. Please like and subscribe. As always, share is more than welcome. 
I've been Dark Superboy, you've been watching my video, thank you very much, and as always, let hope burn bright. Goodbye!